In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to prompt Leonardo AI. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Leonardo AI Prompt Expert, which is a custom ChatGPT that I loaded with all the Leonardo AI prompt directions, FAQ, documentation, you name it, and then a baseline of a bunch of useful prompts. You can get the link to this below. And what you can do is you can just go in and you can describe what you're trying to create. So I'm going to say that I want to make a prompt that describes a craftsman, so like a carpenter. I'm going to say, help me create a prompt that describes a craftsman, a carpenter, working with wood and building a log cabin. And I want you to describe the character that is the carpenter and all of his physical appearances, and he's building a log cabin in the woods. So what this is going to do is it's going to provide um, some breakdown of kind of how we could build the prompt, sort of some things to think about um, and, and what it's gonna take into account. So the setting, age, gender, physical appearance, clothing style, um, what type of wood is being used, uh, what stage the log cabin construction is in, and all these things are kind of good for you to think about. Um, but then at the end, we'll kind of get to the prompt and then uh, what the technical specs of Leonardo AI that we should actually be using. So. Leonardo Diffusion XL, Alchemy V2. And so here's kind of the, the prompt. So it says, create a high quality AK image of a middle-aged male carpenter with short salt and pepper hair and a rugged beard. He is wearing a flannel shirt, denim jeans, and a leather apron with a focused expression. The carpenter is skillfully building a log cabin in a dense green forest. The cabin is halfway constructed with logs being carefully placed. He's using traditional carpentry tools like a handsaw and hammer. The lighting is that of early morning, casting a soft glow through the trees. The composition would be from a side view, capturing both the carpenter in action and the surrounding woods. Use the Alchemy V2 pipeline and Leonardo Diffusion XL model with a moderate in its strength for a balance of realism and artistic interpretation. So I'm just going to copy up to here. I'm going to take that, and then we're going to go over to Leonardo. So I'm going to put the prompt in here. And then I'm going to turn on Alchemy V2, and that is according to um, Leonardo Diffusion XL. Yep, according to the instructions, we have everything set up. So I'm going to say generate. Uh, we have four images coming out, so I'm kind of interested to see how that goes. I'm also interested to see what happens if I do photo reel. So I'm going to generate uh, for photo reel as well. Okay, let's look at some of the output that came from the prompt that we got from ChatGPT. So this is awesome, it definitely fits the bill. Um, even the hands are looking pretty good. The eyes are a little weird, but it's overall not too crazy. If we look at some of the others, uh, his tools, a little bit strange here. There's just like a light. We're not really sure where that's coming from. Look over here, same thing with the tools. Um, I'm interested to see what Photoreal did. So Photoreal V2, um, tools are a little bit wonky, but overall looking pretty good. I'm actually curious to see what happens if I go over here like this one. Um, let's see if I can upscale it. I'm curious to see what will happen if I go and I say, let me put that in smooth mode, upscale. Let's see what happens with that. I think it'll be interesting to see how good this one turns out. The wood, um, the light, all that, even the uh, clothes, and then the vest here, all that is looking pretty good. Okay, and I think this is our upscaled image right here, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty good. You cannot tell me that this is not a real dude. Okay, cool. So the next prompt I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get a, uh, a Porsche and I want it to be at nighttime. Um, I'm even going to tell it, I'm even going to say, I'm going to refine this and say that I want it to be accounting for it to be raining at night. And I really want to see what it does with the lighting and how that kind of works. So in the middle of this, if I ever just wanted to, to stop this, I would just go ahead and click this and then just say, oh, and also account for the rain. Um, and what I'm going to type in here is I'm going to say remake this whole prompt to account for it raining at night. Okay, and we'll see what we get. 
here in a second we should get that output cool it's it's breaking down how it's building the prompt perfect okay cool so here's the prompt right here I think this is gonna be really good and it says uh, to use the alchemy v2 and Leonardo diffusion XL model I'm gonna go ahead and grab that go over here add that in I'm gonna get turn off photo real real quick okay everything's good we'll go ahead and generate that and then I'll also do one under photo reel okay here's some of the first outputs so this is really good yeah really good and it almost gets the lettering right but not quite a little bit a little bit messed up here but overall still very good looking um, I think this that's really great we can go ahead and download that and then look over here let's see what photo reel did we got a license plate blurred out that's fine this is really good yeah the rain the street all those breakdowns really good looking I think this one is probably one of my favorites very cool once again you can tap into any of the um, different models here for uh, upscaling let me go ahead and try out uh, just smooth upscale I'm just gonna give that a check see what that turns out okay next I'm gonna say I want you to create me a prompt for a businessman in a suit but you can tell that he's half of a cyborg one of his features in his face maybe his eye or something some of his face kind of you can tell that it has electronic computer parts embedded into it so we're gonna see how this prompt turns out I'm interested to see if it's gonna take that and um, how it's gonna build that out so it's kinda building the character for us I'm interested to see what it'll say um, we should we should have for the prompt okay there's the prompt let's take it over but in here we're gonna kinda do the same thing we're gonna go with basic diffusion XL and alchemy generate that and then we're gonna add photo reel and generate that and we'll see the outputs all right here's some of the outputs so uh, off the bat this one right here a little crazy looking um, but definitely definitely very cool this is probably one of you one of my favorites this one it didn't really highlight the suit so um, very cool like kind of cybernetic breakdown of like what a human could look like with uh, with sort of these these features added in this one's pretty cool this one kind of just the posture and the stances overall pretty neat um, and then let's see let's go up we'll see what photo reel did so photo reel this this guy looks just like a, a dollar store Batman villain this one's pretty cool this one and eh, not so much but the uh, kind of Iron Man suit vibe is, is interesting uh, and this one this is just kind of little iffy right here um, as to what we're really getting uh, like why is this kind of fiber optic table just sort of sitting right here but overall really cool output I think um, I'm gonna go take this one this is really kind of crazy looking I'm gonna go ahead and hit the um, the upscaler I'm gonna say yep well I hope that this custom GPT is really helpful for you when you're trying to use Leonardo AI I think that it makes it really easy to just kind of get a prompt generated really quickly and it's all custom and it's all based off of all the base knowledge that's in Leonardo AI so that you can get outputs uh, the way that you desire so that you're using your tokens effectively if you have like a free trial definitely check it out if you want to go sign up for Leonardo AI go ahead and check the uh, link in the description I think it's really one of the best image generation tools out there I think it's really good for a number of different tasks definitely definitely endorse that um, and definitely make sure that you build good prompts off the bat so that that way you aren't tearing through here and experimenting and, and burning um, burning your prompts along the way so I hope this video has been helpful 
and uh, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you later.